What's up guys? Sorry about the last episode. Uh, so basically, I started off by saying that there was a stray dog I had to like, kind of rescue. That happened. That ruined the start of the video. And then I had a, like a pest control guy coming by the house and he showed up an hour and a half early without calling. So, yeah, I can't, I can't plan around those types of things. Unfortunately, that made for kind of a, a half-assed video, but this one should be good. Better, maybe. Let's cross our fingers and hope. Um, so what I was doing, I just bought two of these from Mira. And that's going to let her level, get her up to level 6 before we head into this dungeon. Um, I don't think there was anything else we needed. And we're low on gold anyway. We got her the second level pipe, the bone pipe. Now I guess the last level is for the dragon pipe. But that is incredibly expensive. We cannot afford that at the moment. We bought them out of their scholar's wart, god's beard. I don't know if we need this or any of the rest of this stuff. I think we're good. We are finally good. And for services, we probably don't need any services because if we're about to level, then we don't need to heal. And there we go. Very nice. And I think we'll hold on to the next one. No point in using it prematurely. Um, if we get someone who's really close to leveling and they're hurt. We'll give them the Scholar's Wart to try and help them level up. Okay. Anything else that we needed to do? Any changes? Check out our weapons. We're still good on that. Ah, that's what we were, were in desperate need of. We need to sell. We have a lot of items that we just don't need at all. Let's go back into the market. I don't actually... We don't really need to go into the market. We just need to be in a city and ready to sell so uh, the glass rod i'm gonna sell this yeah it's a good item um, i'm gonna keep the scholar's book as a really weak backup in case some jello or something breaks my gear um we can sell this i'm trying fine distance Mm. It's rare, so I may be like missing out on some of its properties. The rest of these, however, I think I'm just going to sell. Especially these old boots. And I guess we can also sell the Scholar wraps. Anything else? I don't think so. What about our other guys? I'm sure they're, they're holding on to some junk that we don't need. Leather armor. Can we not sell because it's not our turn? I guess not. Okay. Or is Sigmund just not... No, Sigmund's just not in the town anymore. Or yet. We should be able to sell here, though. It's only two, but it's something. I like this. We might want to equip this. before we head into that next dungeon, if it does 50% damage bonus. Hmm. Yeah, losing our, our gear the way we did to that jello really kind of shook the way I was playing this game. I was thinking we were absolutely protected. We'll sell this as well. Versus ever losing our gear. And it turns out we're not. So we need to be concerned about ever being in a situation where we just don't have a backup. We have two of these, we can sell one. Curious how much the toy hammer sells for, not a lot at all. Pretty weak, kind of just want to hold on to it though. And I think that's it, I think that's it for our turn. We don't need any of that. And... We'll leave here. She has a movement left. We can keep her here and just let her regen. No, we need to move forward. We need to make sure that we're all in range when the time comes to enter the cave. And it's night time and some pretty dangerous stuff has cropped up. Frostcrag, a boner. Yeah, I don't know if we want to fight a boner. Seaside Wharf. 
If we come into here, it does pull the other guys in. Do we not have anything that gets rid of... No, we don't. Nothing that gets rid of curses. I would love to get rid of the vitality curse. Either way, I think it's time to get in here. And we will fight in the time cave. A deep, dark cave. You become confused. How long have you been standing here? We fight the Scourge. And that's what the new item we equip for him will let him do 50% extra damage. Versus the old one. A fine time for battle. Try not to blink or you'll miss it. I did the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> don't, don't try to confuse me with your words. Oh, he's got big resistances. And does a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, he took our turn. So we weren't able to heal him. That's no good. Uh, but what we can do... Is make sure we get an effective taunt. That'll raise our resistance. And hopefully he'll do whatever that was to Roland this time. We already have a great chance to hit perfectly. Alright, he did that. We're still confused. He just swapped weapons. That's awful. Hmm. Let's just keep going. This is a tough enemy for us when we lose control of our characters. Back in time. Guessing he just made us like miss our turn. Either way, let's let's heal up while we still can. He made us switch our weapons. Show me what you got. All right, double dodge and resisted. Come on, buddy. We need good hits to bypass his stats. He's actually got pretty good stats. And this is our new dagger. This dagger is amazing. Jesus, your time is up. Yeah, that dagger was an amazing purchase. Good experience for everyone. Um, everyone took a big financial hit. Uh, but Roland is working with, like, nothing right now. Let's give him the gold. Um, two more lore books. Happy to collect. 10 speed and 1 movement bonus. Oh, he also did an extra 50% damage. I was wondering why he did so much. Yeah, good equip. I'm glad we remembered to do that. Uh, but I'm happy to take this speed bonus. We're going to equip that to Roland. The golden hourglass. And that's going to make him much faster in battle between that and the dagger. Which is going to, in turn, allow him to... We need to come down here and kill this guy, I think. The Mind Lord. Yeah. Which is in turn going to allow him to taunt at the beginnings of battles. And now we're no longer in danger of missing our turns, but we do have to be very aware that chaos is growing. Alright, Lost Troll. We'll just fight him. He's only one guy. Oh my god, we gotta switch our weapon back. I don't know why I thought it would like automatically switch. Oh well, at least it's not a terrible weapon. Perfect. Nice! The one, two, three knockout. And another iron vest. We're just going to hold it. I don't think anyone needs that or wants it. Probably worth quite a bit. We just want to go ahead and sell that. Ooh. We ran into a twisted archer. A zany looking man standing atop a boulder gets your attention. Outrun my arrow and get a prize. Catch my arrow and you can keep it. We can try. He's got our best movement. 
So boom, just like that, an energy boost, eh? I think we're just going to pass and let him regain some HP. Looks good. And I'm thinking for the bonus crit, uh, we may want to give that to Mirror if we can. Holy crap. Something unknown. We could move here and then move back down. Oh, of course, it takes intelligence. Uh, we're going to leave. And we're going to come down here to the Sanctum of Blood. And we're going to give him the crit chance because I think we're going to have to move her back to go and mess with that. We're going to visit Fire Elm, spend our gold, and then we're going to head over here. Wraith. I don't think this is our first battle with the Wraith. The last time, I think we took, yeah. He's got a slightly different name, but it's still a Wraith. And once again, I forgot to change out my equipment. Perfect. Uh, he did like a huge sweeping AoE attack that was horrible. And wrecked us last time. Well, let's visit Fire Elm and see what they have in their market. More God's Beard. We'll take that. They have a great bow, which I think is just the next iteration of the heavy bow. buy two of those and I guess we can let mirror buy the other uh, there's no point we'll just buy it all and if we need to we'll trade it is dangerous to go alone we could get ambushed oh no We're going to sneak past. Investigate here. Nice. 24 extra experience for her. I guess we'll try and sneak again. Look at his movement now. It's kind of unbelievable. A blue jelly. I don't want to fight this thing at all. Because I really don't want to lose any of my gear. And I don't think we have any protection against it. Panax, maybe. But if we had three people in here and we could just burst them down right at the start, I would be happy. But that's not the case. This is definitely better than what I'm using, but I don't really want to spend 44 gold on it. I think we need to put a little bit more value on things like herbs. I'll buy one of those. Okay, and we're right outside the camp we're trying to get to. Let me just come up here and engage this guy and then move right back. Just make sure we're constantly getting experience. Still haven't switched off my weapon. I'm sorry, guys. Talking and playing this game are not conducive amazing plays. He's going to get a chance to do something to us. Okay, three damage. I wish more enemies just did pure damage instead of all these crazy effects. But man, the way they die with the ragdoll. Hmm. 
Very happy to get a free God's Beard. Okay, now we have to try and sneak. Once again. We could even use multiple focus to continue going forward. But I think we're going to have to save our focus for that. Something in the water. This is a chaos camp. I think we're going to try and attack that. on our way out to reduce the chaos corruption. I don't even know what this is. Did we discover another place without realizing it? Another scourge type location? I hope not. I don't see anything. But we may have. King's Maze, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Where do we move, Roland? I don't want to do this with only two guys. But there's really nothing else to do, so I think we'll just wait. If we were just going to sit him here, if we knew it was going to take Mirror this long, uh, we would have left him in Fire Elm to passively make money as an entertainer. And we'll buy one of those for more experience. Okay. And we'll leave. We can move one closer. I think that's close enough to help us in the Mind Lord camp. Yes, I think we're just fine. I don't know at what point we're supposed to buy a boat, but I've been kind of looking at this docks here, wondering if we should. And Roland's movement is unbelievable. He went from the slowest to the fastest. The Mine Lord's Camp. So, looks like a boss battle to me. We're in good health. We're slightly over-leveled. So determined, you can scarcely conceive of defeat. I cannot wait to taste your mind. Destroyer of Mines. Okay. An Undead Knight. This guy's got huge armor. The Mine Lord has huge magic resistance. And the Bone Warrior... He reflects incoming damage. Oh. And once again, I forgot to change out. <laughs> I'm bad at this game, y'all. Um, I'm thinking... We just want to burst down the Mind Lord as fast as possible. 30 damage. Huge. And as long as we don't miss there, I'm pretty comfortable about our chances. I just feel like he's, of all the characters that we're fighting right now, he's the one that's going to do the dirtiest stuff. Let's guarantee we hit him for max damage. Because we got to bypass that 12 resistance. And now it's just a straight up melee fight. Alright, that was a big hit and he dazed us. This ignores armor. God, the dagger is broken. It's a little bit of damage, not bad. Alright, only one up. 
This could very easily have been a tough fight if we hadn't focused the Mind Flayer. I feel like that dude would have done some serious status type effect stuff to us. How much damage does he reflect? Four on that one. And that should be the end of him. So a relatively easy fight. I'm happy about that. And we got another key fragment. Good bit of gold to share. Three more books of lore. We can now unlock some people um, in the like the uh, kind of like store outside of the game. We can unlock some new characters if we ever want to start a new campaign. A mace, you say? Well, smash and stun. Super effective versus the undead, but it does lower our speed and our crit chance. I was enjoying the dagger, one, because it ignores armor, uh, and two, because that 15% chance to crit was being added to our 10% chance to crit that we got from that, that altar. But I think this is enough of an upgrade that we should just go ahead and equip it. And we just got the exact same thing earlier. Now, Roland doesn't really need that extra movement. It's actually been a bit of a hindrance because he's able to move so far. I'd almost rather him have the crit chance with the evasion. Chaos has diminished. We have a chance. Thank you, Rosman. Mind over matter. Another achievement unlocked. And I think we'll move up to here. You've stumbled upon Fountain of Life. Drinking from this fountain will recover a life. Um, I don't think we're down any lives. Would this just be a waste? Probably. Otherwise, it's a large fight. There we go. And now we rest. I would love to also take on this catacombs. Let's move up to here. And then I think we'll rest a bit. Refocus up. We're going to have to wait. I would love to go into the dungeon. Oh, wow. And the chaos encampment disappears. It's all good, though. I think we can fight these bridge trolls pretty easily. And then we're going to go into the catacombs and take out that dungeon. And one day, who knows how long it'll be from now, I will remember to equip our better bow. As if to make me feel better, we get a perfect shot. And let's see about this mace here. Perfect attack gives us a stun. It's tempting because we're not going to kill him either way. So let's just stun him. And that moves him further back down. We'll get a chance to kill him before he attacks. I think that was a, a right move. Alright, we get the kill. Now he never gets to move. And then we've got a lot of shots on this guy before he gets to do anything. We can even go for another stun. Perfect. He is as good as dead. Let's speed it up a little. I gotta say, I do like the stun. And that's great experience for our crew. We'll share once again, and there we go. That helmet we did not buy. Giving us stun immunity. Everyone loses a little bit, but... I'm just going to collect it. I really don't know if it's better or not. Oh, and a long sword. Interesting. 
I'm going to take this and we're going to equip it and we're just going to test it out. They're definitely in the same class. They do the same amount of damage. Everyone comes with us. We get a royal chest at the end of this. Yeah, let's do it. Another dungeon for us. Looks like it's only one floor. A ghoul. It's our first ghoul and our first merling shaman. Guys, I'm never going to remember. Never in a hundred years. We can do it during battle, but then it's going to mess us up. Let's focus the shaman. Hurrah, we blocked him. Looks like some sort of like life-stealing attack. Yeah, we will attack the undead knight as well. Because I think with the lunge here, there's slash, we can inflict a bleed. Ah, uh, okay. And it's just slightly more accurate. We can also try to evade armor. Let's just get the kill. See what kind of damage he can do. And he's going to try and stun us. We are, well, we're dazed. Delays our action. He's going to get to go again. Luckily we dodged him with our good evasion. Alright, we've almost got him. Such a big attack. That'll take him out of the running. We need a perfect shot to do any kind of damage to him at all. how much experience we get before I start using Scholar's Wart as a bit of a heal. One magic damage. Four crit chance. I like, this. I like the sound of that. And we heal a bit. Man, we could just level up here. It's so tempting. Or we can give it to Sigmund so that he can level. We'll give him one of these. There we go. Just put ourselves in much better shape for the upcoming battle. And, because I'm tired of being an idiot, let's go ahead and give him his better bow back. Okay. I think that's it. We're ready to go. Next floor, another fight. And now we've got a boner. Alright, our first boner. He stole 142 gold. Oh, hell no. He can only be hit by a perfect shot. So let's hit him with some perfect shots. We're immune to frost. She's got great accuracy. Let's try and get this kill. And hopefully we get our damn gold back. I think that'd be crazy otherwise. Pretty sure they're immune to bleeding. Yeah, so we're not going to go for a bleed. Holy crap. He landed all of those, but luckily we had steadfast. Alright, no more mage to worry about. And we have a piercing attack on that sword as well. Nice. That's eight more damage. Same thing on Sigmund. So he's going to get another chance to hit us pretty hard. And he does. 22 damage is a lot. Down they go. Was that the last fight of this? I don't know. We get our gold back. Perfect. Let's give it to her. 
share the rest. Plus one to physical damage, we'll use that on Roland. And some adventurer boots, which are just way better than our traveling boots. Two more armor, two more evasion, two more awareness, two more speed, and elite flee. That's great. Oh my god, what is this? Okay. Stun immunity, steady, and enemy taunt. I think we already have steady, naturally. Um, speed debuff kind of sucks, but two party armor seems great. There we go, wooden tower shield. Seems like an upgrade. Yeah, we're just going to keep moving on. Let's, um... Let's level up on Roland. And now it's just her that needs to. Let's just do it. We'll go into this battle um, at level 7. Which should put us, if there is a battle, it should put us at a huge advantage. Alright, we've got lockpicks. Perfect. And lore store has been uh, updated. We've got something else that we can get from there. 25 party evasion. Let's collect that here. She already has one of those. So let's give her another to remove curses. Let's use that on her and get rid of her speed curse. And this is the last room. No battle. There could be a mimic, I guess. Two more books of lore. Happy to get it. Crushing this glowing orb will disarm any traps in the immediate vicinity. And a performer's hat. Two armor, three resistance. One max focus, three talent, three luck. So this isn't really meant for our character. If we had like the bard, it would be great for that character. I don't know if it's called the bard. I think it's the minstrel. Talent and luck just aren't that important to us. I think we'll collect it on Roland. And he might end up putting on that, uh, that knight helmet. Either way, I'm happy we did that. I'm happy we made it out. And now we are heading here. The game is going to force us to get into the water. So I guess we're going to figure that out. Uh, we still got some time left on today's episode, so we might as well get our butts over there. Feral Mage. Nice day. We get extra movement. Perfect. Awesome. Oh no. And we pulled in Sigmund at least to help us. We're going to fight it. Oh, look at this dude's resistances. All right, let's try and ignore his armor. I think that's going to be the way to go here. Good damage. All right, let's see what he's got. Oh no. Oh no. That hit so hard. very hurt. You might just want to use one of these on him. To regain focus. Roland doesn't have any of those. Let's 
Sigmund. Let's use that on you, man. And fight our first Chaos Fairy. Looks like he's also pulling in a Feral Mage. Ooh. What did that do? Attack is temporar temporarily decreased. It's not a huge deal. Um, it is kind of a huge deal, however, that you have to have perfect attacks to kill her. Let's go for the Feral Mage first. He should just be straight up an easier target. And if he sets us all aflame, we're going to be pretty unhappy because that's going to do a ton of damage. And I guess we can... Let's cure Mira, see what that gets rid of. We got rid of Inflame. Let's go for the bleed. Instead we just get a perfect shot and kill him. Okay, I'll take that. With her attack down, she's not really able to do any damage. And we can't even hurt this fairy. Restore on Sigmund. Perfect attack there is just a kill, so happy to have that. Another one of these. Oh, what's this? A drinking contest? Well, that's definitely for Roland. And I think we're going to buy a boat here. Alright, let's play. If we win this 48 gold, that's a lot. Um, our chances to win are very high. Okay, 24 gold. Can't complain about free gold. And the store has been opened as, again, so there's even more things we can buy at the end of today's episode. And we'll see what this is. We'll head over here, buy a ship, and I guess sail to the other side? Or should we buy a ship here to ensure that we can get there? Because this may not connect, or it may go really far around. A muddy vagrant sits near the path. Watching as you approach. Spare some coins, he rasps. Okay, well, I don't really need the gold right now. Let's see what this does. And we unlock something else. It says, G thanks you won't regret this. I hope not. Because I just gave you a bunch of money and didn't get anything in return. Except for something in the store. And at least while we're traveling, we're healing and refocusing. Can probably take on this fight here. Way to make a little money, get a little experience. Last time we fought this dude, we had pretty bad rolls. He's going to shock us this time. We're all immune to that, though. Nice. Critical damage. And finish him off rolling. Boom. like how Sigmund does like a little arm, arm pump. A trainer. Well, we don't have the gold because we just gave it to a homeless guy. But that's something I think I bought with my last uh, collected lore books. Let's train. 
Wow, we can get two intelligence. Did he disappear or is he still on this tile? We'll see when Roland gets a chance to walk over to him. Nope. Gone. Well, let's go up here and buy that boat. Okay, and maybe one last camp before we end today's episode. Seems fun. A scamp camp. Okay. Can we ambush them? These are the guys. We're going to need our focus to beat this. Because all three of them need perfect attacks in order to kill them. Okay. Let's go for a perfect... Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Trying to put, you know, that damage on everyone so that way we could potentially one-shot someone. Okay, this fight is going to end up being tougher than it needs to be. We might want to use a party heal next turn. One down. Stole our teleport scroll and our hermit grass. So that gets the kill and puts some damage on him. Just one more attack. Come on, 85%. Damn. Alright, go again. And he left. I did not know they could do that. We get our Hermit Grass back, but not our Teleport Scroll, which is probably much more valuable. Let's give this to Mira. She'll probably be the one that buys the boat. Damn, this gives her armor and some shields and a stronger attack, but she loses her HP regen, her support range, and her party heal. She'll collect it, but I don't know if we'll use that. Oh my god, we get another fight. Just one fairy, though. <laughs> Our stats are getting high enough now that we can hit reliably. We will rest. We had, actually, wow. We have this side quest to kill this owl bear thing. Maybe we come up here and do that. And that's how we end today's episode on a level 7 quest kill. Oh, did he disappear? Was that the last turn we could do it? Oh, that sucks. I have no idea what any of this does. Let's buy the best boat. I don't know what the best boat does though. Pick up our party. And we can head over to the Devil's Shelter, or the Devil's Wharf, which is like a city. And there's a quest here to reduce chaos. In the Rogue Isles. Tinder Pouch. Let's 
Let's try and reduce chaos. Dang, we needed one more turn to do that. But that should be pretty easy for us. Guys, I think this is a great place to end today's episode. Man, they have a lot of stuff here. Ugh. Looks like the next tier of some of the, the items we need. Bronze cannon, I like that. Anything else? Nah, we're good. Alright, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, uninterrupted, as it was. And, yeah. As always, y'all, I will see you in the next one. Take care.